Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back. It's Travis here with JT Wealth. It is the day before Thanksgiving and one thing I know I'm particularly thankful for is stocks that make me money. <laughs> so in today's video, I want to showcase two stocks that have over 5% dividend yield, room to grow, and this one billionaire is picking them up like hotcakes. So let's get into it. All right, like I said, welcome back everybody. Thanks so much for checking out today's video. Hopefully everybody is gearing up and prepping for a fantastic Thanksgiving tomorrow. So whatever you do and whoever you spend it with, remember to give thanks for everything that you're appreciative of and have a fantastic day. That being said, we're gonna talk about the two dividend stocks in this video that have over 5% yield, some pretty strong growth potential up and above the average for the S&P 500, and one billionaire has been picking them up like crazy. So this is a massive potential for people like me who really enjoy dividend stocks. So before I show you guys exactly which article we're pulling from today, don't forget smash that like button for me and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. All right, let's dive right into today's article. And this one came off the tip rank site and it's titled billionaire Stephen Cohen bets big on these two high yield dividend stocks. There's a fun little picture of Mr. Cohen right there. And now everybody wants to do whatever it is they can to make as much money as they can. That's how you end up in the stock market in the first place. But unfortunately, the stock market, among other things, is one of those places where data is controlled and is seen as power. They make it as confusing as possible for you to understand so that they don't have to worry about you taking money away from them. But sometimes there are different ways you can track markets through ETFs or following the big money. And in this instance, it's following billionaires. So Stephen Cohen is the billionaire trader behind 0.72 Asset Management and has shown that he can survive the absolute craziness of Wall Street. Now, after recovering from federal investigations earlier this decade, he went back into trading and built 0.72 into a $22 billion giant. And in the third quarter, he moved heavily into a few high yield dividend stocks. And two of those dividend stocks having above a 5% dividend yield are the focus of this video. Take a look at the first stock we're talking about today. And that is going to be Plains GP Holdings, ticker symbol PAGP. Now, it was trading around $10.95 around the close of business today. But at a moderate buy, it's looking at over a 15.98% potential upside in the next 12 months to a possible price target of $12.70. Now, Plains GP is a mid-cap player in the oil and gas midstream business. They control a network of assets, including some 19,000 miles of pipelines, 8,000 crude oil rail tankers, and 2,500 tractor trailers, as well as 20 river transport tugs and 50 barges. Their network stretches along the Rocky Mountain region from northern Alberta, Canada, into Colorado, down to Texas and the Gulf, and up to the Mississippi. Now, the company also has a terminal and refining assets in the Great Lakes and Chesapeake Bay areas. They reported $10.98 billion at the top line in the third quarter and estimated its 2021 full year free cash flow at roughly $1.4 billion, which is an increase of $50 million, and that's after making their dividend distributions. The solid cash flow supports the company's dividends, which were declared for the current quarter at 18 cents per common share. This will mark eight consecutive quarters at this payment level, and the 72 cent annualized payment makes their yield 6.8%, which is far higher than treasury bonds and more than three times the average dividend yield found among S&P listed companies. So Stephen Cohen, in the last quarter, bought heavily into this stock, picking up more than 1.66 million shares. Now at current prices, these shares are now worth 18.06 million dollars. This is a new position for him and a very substantial one. In addition to billionaire Cohen, Wells Fargo analyst Michael Bloom is a huge fan of this company and check this out. 
Bloom says the company generates one of the highest FCF yields in the sector and is likely to allocate more to this FCF to unit holders as leverage declines in 2022. PIA is one of the few midstream companies with a programmatic stock buyback program, lending visibility to future buybacks. We project they will repurchase between 2 and 5% of their market cap per year over the next five years. To that end, he rates the PAGP stock an overweight buy rating with a $14 price target, which shows a 28% potential upside. All right, guys, on to the second stock for today, and that is Lionel Bussell. Now, I could be pronouncing that wrong, but their ticker symbol is LYB, trading at 91.56 this afternoon before the closing market, and they have a moderate buy with almost 23% potential upside, trading or shooting for $112.30 average price target in the next 12 months. Now, LYB is a global power in the chemical industry. This international company is the world's largest player in polyethylene and polypropylene technology space, owning the largest share of technologies and patents in the niche, and profiting from licensing production. They also have a world industry-leading position in the production of polyolefin technologies and has a large footprint in the more mundane refining of plastics and chemicals. Now this company is facing a series of headwinds that bode ill for the near to midterm. Prices in the core segments of polyethylene and propylene are going down, while the natural gas the company uses for ethane feedstock is rising in cost. But there are bright points for investors. While the EPS is at $5.25 and missed the estimate of $5.78, revenues hit $12.69 billion in the third quarter, coming in above the $11.99 billion that was forecasted, and the amounts to a largest haul in the last two years while growing 87% year over year. They reported cash flows from operations at $2.1 billion and used that to return $500 million to shareholders through their dividends and share repurchases. Speaking of that dividend, it sits currently at $1.13 per common share for an annualized rate of $4.52, which is a solid yield of just about 5%. Now that yield is nearly triple the average dividend found among peer companies or the return on treasury bonds. Now, Cohen, for his part, was impressed enough by this stock to purchase 136,101 shares, which equates to 12.6 million dollars. Now, he wasn't the only one interested in this stock. JP Morgan analyst Jeffrey Zakoskos is very intrigued, and check this out. He says Lyondell's dividend yield at 5%, and it finances in remarkably strong. Its net debt to EBITDA ratio is about 1.4 times based on our estimates of year-end 2022 values. The company throws off 14 to 15% of its share price in free cash flow. We think that the dividend yield and the free cash flow yield should be supportive of their share price. We think that the adverse trends are to a good degree already discounted in the Lyondell share price. Now to that end, he gives it a buy rating and a $118 price target, implying an upside of 27% in the next 12 months. All right, so there you have it, guys. Two strong dividend stocks you may or may not have ever heard of before, but they're being picked up heavily by some billionaires, which if you're tracking the strong, big money might be something you wanna track as well, right? You might wanna follow up on those type of stocks. So. Either way, I'm not telling you guys what to purchase, what to sell. This information is just provided for information and entertainment purposes only. Never buy stocks just because somebody on YouTube talked about it. Anyway, guys, like I said in the beginning, I really hope you all have a fantastic Thanksgiving with your friends and family. And until next time, bottoms up.